I've got a new project I'm going to show you how to do today just in time for Halloween. It's a really fun label for a water bottle. I'm going to send this one to school with my daughter for her Halloween lunch. So to start with, um, you saw the finished product in the first photo shot. Here is how it looks in the Silhouette Studio software. And it's just some four simple components. It's a rectangle. It's a graphic that says trick or treat. It's a little scary iron gate and a little tonic label. And all of these things come from the Echo Park Chillingsworth Manor collection. And what I did is I preloaded the entire collection into my library. Um, it's simple to do that. I have an additional um, tutorial on my blog that you can find out how to label, how to label it, how to put everything in there so it's easy for you to use. So, We'll get back to the project. Okay, so the only thing that we really need to do is work on our background. I've got a plain white background label, but I want to make it a gradient. And over here on the side, I've got one, two, three gradients that are, are perfect for what I'm doing. They're really pretty. But if you have the advanced software and you want to go ahead and customize it and make some additional changes, I want to show you how to do that real quick. Here's the gradient. We've got the dark color and the light color. First of all, if you want to change the color, the lightest color, and edit that, you can click on it. You're going to get a basic little um, color uh, graph here and then over here you've got the gradients that you're working with. If I slide this up just a little bit I'm going to end up with a lighter color at the beginning of my gradient. So I'm going to um, just click OK and you can see right away it changes that. In addition to that if I want my gradient to be lighter on one side, darker than the other, not split in the middle like that. I can also click on this gradient right in the middle and I can move this up or down and you can see, okay, now I've got this very, very dark area over here. Most of the gradient is light. And then if I slide this down over here, it's almost like a sunset. I'm getting, I'm sliding that gradient bar back and forth so I can see. Oh, just lost something on the side of my desk. I can see where that gradient's going. So I think it looks great, just like this. Really pretty. I want to make sure that I can read my text. So I'm going to put my text over there. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll slide this up just a little bit to get a little more distinction where my text is. And make sure that your square, your background square is activated. If it's not activated, you'll not see any change. So that's it. That's simple for um, our label. The only other um, thing I wanted to go over is that you can actually change the angle of the gradient as well. And if you click on it, which is what I just told you to do, and you rotate this, you can see that I'm rotating where my gradient is. And that's another really cool trick. If I want it light on, dark on the top, if I want it dark on the bottom, whatever I, I want to do. I can leave it like that and see how that looks because that gives me a little bit um, greater um, contrast between my title. That looks kind of cool. Do this one a little different. And then I'm simply going to slide my gate element that I've already sized and I'm going to move this text up just a little bit and then put my tonic label on there that I've already sized and that's it. Really easy, ready to print and cut. I do want to go ahead and make sure that all of my um, cut lines are where I need them. Make sure I'm not cutting anything that I don't want to cut out. So let's go ahead and look at our cut lines. Everything's perfect. All I'm going to do is get an outline right there and we're all set. I'll show you the finished product. It should be great.